Welcome to MBS Show, episode number 209. I'm your host, Norman Sanzo. Joining me today is the man with the plan, Daniel Anthony. Hi, Norman. Good to see you again. Hi, hi. Same here. How are you doing, man? I have been better, but it's so far so good. Yeah, it's been a while. It's been a while. Two years now? Long while. Yeah, quite long, actually. Mm, yep, yep, yep. Congratulations for 200 episodes, by the way. Ah, thank you. Could have done it without you. <laughs> Thanks. And also joining us is the man who cures all illness, Dr. Charlie. Hi guys, hi Norman, hi Ben. How are you doing? I'm okay, I'm healthy. Thank you very much. So when are we going to rob a bank? Oh, <laughs> oh no. anytime you're ready. Now. Uh, that's our PD took two. What are you gonna draw? What are you gonna? What are you gonna rob a blood bank? <laughs> oh. No, we're gonna do the same heist we do every week. Yeah, the same one every week. Well, you do the mall crash to take out stress like I do. <laughs> that's a fun mission. Seriously, that is a fun it's mission. Stress relief mission. You break things. <laughs> so true. So true. And also, our guest for this week is Tridash. Hello, I'm Tridashi. I'm just a YouTuber here. <laughs> I'm my bad, bad in English, so pardon me if I speak wrong. <laughs> no problem, man. No problem. No problem, man. So, uh, Norman, is this the first time the guests introduce themselves? I mean, usually we ask them to. <laughs> we had a few, but. Okay. But we had a few, but Tridash is. Well, he's awesome. What can I say? So, Tridash. Uh, before we officially start, we need to ask you the four important questions. And those are, who's your favorite character? Rainbow Dash. Rainbow Dash. <laughs> that is obvious by the OC anyway. True. And the name. So, why Rainbow Dash? I love his elements, loyalty. That's it. Mm. Well, that is a good trait. That is a good trait. So, favorite episode? I cannot decide because there are so many good episodes like Pinky Pride, Slice of Life, oh, so many of good episodes. I cannot. <laughs> I how cannot about this? How about all. this? Go for your top three. Doesn't have to be in any order. Oh, your three, three favorite. Yeah, make it easier. Well, you mentioned two before: Pinky Pride and Slice of Life. So just one more then. One more. Mm. Shush, Norman, you made it difficult for him now. What? <laughs> but he, there's what? There's almost one hundred plus episodes. <laughs> there <laughs> is one hundred plus episodes. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Um. The Lost of Beauty Mark. Uh, what is that? I forget Consider, the title. Consider the Lost Mark. Oh yeah, that's, that's oh, it. Oh well, good choice. Good choice. I have to say yes. All all three are good. <laughs> he said Pinky Pride first, so yeah, we all know which one was the best one. <laughs> but in no particular order, to be exact. <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> you can clearly tell who's a Pinky fan here. Anyway, um, how did you became a fan of the show? I saw a clip of Applejack and Pinky Pie saying saying. Okie dokie dokie. <laughs> oh, that one. It, it's it's very cute. So, so I'm curious. So I try to watch first episode, and it's really appealing to me. Hmm. <laughs> okay. So first episode that is season one, episode one. Yep. That one is a good one to start off with. But about when did you become a brony? May 2015. Yeah. Oh, quite recent. I see. So, what do your family and friends think about your love for the show? My family actually don't care about me, about, um, I'm liking MLP, yeah, they, they don't care about me, uh, they just let me liking MLP, <laughs> um, about the friends, um, I actually don't tell to any friends that I like, love MLP. <laughs> totally understandable, totally understandable. For that matter, has, have any of your friends found out? <laughs> actually, it's, uh, on the internet for friends. Okay. Alright, alright. Thank you for answering the four important questions, Tridash. And well, I guess we can start asking you about what you really do. So, earlier you mentioned that you were a YouTuber. So, what is it on the YouTube that you do? Making video, um, making musical videos. If you watch, you watch my channel, you can see more pony dub, friendship is musical series, and more musical video like, like that. Yes, uh, yeah. Oh, alright, because I took a look-see at one of your recent videos, Trixie Mega... Megalopania. Yeah, yeah, that one. And it is really interesting. I like what you did. Instead of, well, doing a normal PMV, like how other PMV makers do things, you kind of make it interesting by forcing the ponies to sing the song. <laughs> yeah. That, that is cool. I, I like that. I like that. But um, how do you do it? Like, what do you use? For the audio things, I use 
a software called Melodyne. Oh, for... <laughs> you use Melodyne. You know it. Oh yes. Yeah, and for the video, I use Sony Vegas. That's a good choice. So, how is the text editing um, in Sony Vegas 2? Norman, when you ask text editing, use Microsoft <laughs> Word. No, but it's like the text from the video. <laughs> uh, it's, it's about editing scale. Uh, Alright, so it's in Sony Vegas then too. Alright. Uh, so you use Melodyne, Sony Vegas. Sounds normal to me, like most PMVs makers do that too. So how long does it take you to finish a video? For the ideas, it might take week. But when I put them to the Vegas and Melodyne, the editing only takes two or three days. Lah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I like how you use the laugh. <laughs> Seriously, I do. I thought that was only, well, a uh, Malaysian Singapore thing. Huh? Never now we've got a new, we got a new ally. Mm. <laughs> Alright, lah. <laughs> so, uh, it takes you two or three days and the idea takes about a week or two and the editing takes about two or three days. Right? Yes, right. I also see here that you have a Patreon. So, do the Patreon supporter influence what you do? Not really, because I don't really focus on money, really. Uh. Previously, I, I use Patreon uh, because I need to buy a new PC. No, I have new PC. <laughs> so, you have a new PC. So, yeah, okay. The, I, I think there's the Patreon is for backup. All right. So, Doc, you got anything? Yeah, I've got a whole bunch of questions wow. for me. All right. <laughs> uh, when you mentioned, uh, Tridash, when you mentioned that you uh, said you were using Sony Vegas uh, 9 to edit your videos, is this your preferred video editor of choice or have you actually tried uh, other other tools before this? I use Windows Movie Maker and, and Camtasia. Oh, Windows Movie Maker is good. I use Windows Movie Maker. <laughs> No, dude, when you use Windows Movie Maker, did you use Windows Movie Maker to make PMVs? Oh. <laughs> no, seriously. Um, because that is an achievement. <laughs> That's really amazing. Because I haven't discovered Sony Vegas yet, so I use Movie Maker. So you, what did you use Movie Maker to, to do? AMV, Anime Music Video. Uh, not bad, not bad. Good job. Hmm, alright. <laughs> Shows me what I know. It's a simpler form of editing, actually. Um, but then again, Windows Movie Maker is a very, very basic kind of tool. Yeah, the, the basicness of it, being able to think out of the box, that's really great. Yeah, that is true, that is true. I mean, I, you know those kind of artists who make lovely pony paintings using MS Paint? That's kind of that's sheer skill right there. Kudos for that. Yeah, that, MS Paint is not easy. Uh, just to follow up, uh, regarding Sony Vegas 9, uh, do you find this easy to use or is it um, something which you need a lot of time to learn how to use? At first, it's actually hard, but I'm interested to use it. Okay. Yeah, uh, and how, now... How long does really... it take for you to, um, how do you say, uh, uh, become pro at it or become a master at it? <laughs> um, a month. Wow. That's really fast. It's, it's fast. That's fast. Ah, uh, thank you. I went to university to learn Premiere. I still don't know how to use it. <laughs> wow. All right. So, I'm just reminded that you joined the fandom a while back. I think it was around uh, uh, May 2015. So, when did you start your YouTube channel? Yeah, 2015 too. Uh, July, July. <gasps> oh, what, what's what I say? July. 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 July 2015. Oh, wow. So, I'm looking at your subscriber sorry so i'm looking at your subscribers and wow not bad within that few months you already got 6k wow thank you so i'm guessing people really 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 like your work yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> so have your work been featured on eqd always 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 all right oh wow it's regularly over there i check eqd almost every day um and at some point, uh, it's regularly popping up, I think, every week. Every week, eh? Oh, wow. So, basically, the Sephisto has the loves then. All right. <laughs> mm, those are popular PMVs. Um, I think, for one, the uh, the song itself that he chose, uh, popular songs, such as Bad Apple, uh, Hamster Dance, uh, Caramel Dancing. Did you do the Caramel Dancing? I forgot. Is that one or not? Um, Caramel Dancing, uh, Pony Dub. Yes. 
You did it? Not, not yet. Not yet. But yeah, ah, not yet. Right. It's in the works. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> not yet. All right, all right. The song is popular and uh, the mixing is very good, actually. There's some, there's some skill for editing right there. Mm, all right. Um, do you post a video every week? Actually, I post the video when I I like to post. <laughs> oh, so basically, you're going for the format of it's done when it's done. All right. Yeah. That is a good. That is a good philosophy to go by. All right. I would like to ask regarding a little bit of uh, the friendship is musical series where you try to base. Uh, you're trying to make the ponies sing, <laughs> based on episodes. <laughs> Actually, I was wondering, for that series, um, did you actually have a long-term plan for this? Uh, like a set number of songs and ideas you would like to use? Because um, I'm just thinking that there were only so many limited uh, songs out there which you can actually make, make them sing. And to actually cover the entire length of uh, season 1 to and beyond is, is going to be quite difficult. So uh, basically, what, what was your original plan for this series? Before I'm making Friendship with Musical, it's actually uh, originally YouTube Poop. Okay. Yeah. Then I came up with serious idea because I think it's going to be interesting. <laughs> and I see a lot of people really like the idea too. So that's good. Yeah, thank you. Right. Do you want to do anything with Discord's voice? Are you going to make him sing a song? Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Of oh, course. yes. Okay. You know, you know something that would be cute? You can make him sing Glass of Water without <laughs> any of the footage of Glass of Water. That would be quite cool. If it happens. If it happens. Oh, but by the way, um, you know that Discord is voiced by Jonah Lancy, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes, I do. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. well, uh, he was on Star Trek The Next Generation. And talking mm-hmm. about Star Trek, William Shatner, here is the brony. Oh, yeah. That's, wait, Star Trek. Yes, 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 correct. I hold John Delancey responsible. <laughs> Seriously. How? We drag people into this kind of thing. But you were talking about William Shatner. William Shatner is first generation. I know he's first generation, but like, you know, they'll, they'll most probably know each other. They're probably best friends. Probably. But well, it, it seems that someone asked if he might be going to BronyCon. And I don't know his statement, but he says I'm a brony, so yay? Let's hope is this it? is not a Stephen Colbert stunt. Uh, but still, but still, this is going to be cool. It's uh, based on one single tweet, right? Yep. Okay. <laughs> that is the most blatant tweet. It's like straight up to the face. Yep. It doesn't get more direct than that. Not like, not like some encoded message, maybe I'm a brony or dead mouse style trolling. It's right to the face. I'm a brony. But <laughs> um, who was that guy who played the Ron Weasley from Harry Rupert Potter? Rupert Prince. Yeah, he's a brony. Mm. Oh, that one's obvious, yeah. Obvious, very obvious. He was wearing the shirt. The few celebrities like Tosh.0 from uh, Comedy Central as well is a brony. And a few wrestlers are too. I forgot. Is, is Ellen DeGeneres a brony? I don't know. Uh, don't think. I don't think so. Uh, regarding PMVs, uh, do you have a next next plan for the Friendship is Musical series? I will put half of the season to the video. Half of the season to the video? Yeah, episode 1 to 13. Oh, okay. Video. It, it will be about ah. about 7 minutes long. Oh, wow. wow, okay, that's quite a big project right there. Mm. <laughs> so, that's a good number, like, the faster yeah. the better, alright? Mm. For those of you guys out there who are listening who don't know, you think you think oh, 7 minutes is not long. It's a long time when it comes yeah. to everything. Yeah, most of, you see, most of the time I see seven minute or longer videos. Those are usually in collabs where actually people take, uh, or work on one particular part of uh, a popular song oh. and then they stitch them all together to, 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 to cross the length of the entire song. That's how you get a good, um, collab PMV. full length. Yeah, full length PMV. But, um, what, what Tridashi is doing right here is, it's solo, right? You're doing it alone? Yeah, alone. Mm. <laughs> Have you been invited or been asked to do a video for the very popular PMV thingy? Collabs. Basically, I, I did you collab with anyone? No, I mean, I'm just wondering, like, uh, you know the big one that every year comes out for BronyCon? Uh, anthology. Yeah. Oh, oh, Have you been approached? Was... That's a YTP, really. It's not really a PMV. <laughs> um, sorry, but still, I, I was just wondering because we had our previous guests, uh, was it Mandarin Orange? Jimmy, yeah, yeah Jimmy, Jimmy. 
he was involved in it. So I was wondering, like, have you been asked to or not? To anthology? Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. Have you been asked yes. to be a part of anthology? Um, actually, um, my fans um tell me to join the anthology. Oh, <laughs> wow! Ah, I right. think you should because <laughs> hey, you're you're good. <laughs> anthology features is good, so why not, right? Yep. You'd be the pride of Indonesia. Yay! Um, but coming back to the ori- uh, to the previous matter, um, have you actually been in any collabs, uh, work with other PMV makers to make uh, PMVs? Yes, with Fizzy Note. You know him? Fizzy Note sounds familiar. The, yeah, I only do collab with him currently. So, what is your plans uh, regarding collabs? Um, like, do you like doing them, and uh, would you like to do more, or are you more of the solo kind? Uh, you do your own work. For now, I'm doing solo, solo, yeah, because I really don't interest in collab now. <laughs> I see. All right. Uh, okay, another question. Um, are there any other PMV makers you uh, look up to, or you know, um, think think that their work is is uh, something to be inspired out of? Pony Dap, Rabies Bun. Rabies Bun. Okay, I know that name. Uh, these are the only two. I don't know anymore. Only Rebis Ban. <laughs> Alright, it's good, it's good. Um, he, he makes good stuff. Rebis Ban is a very popular PMV maker back in the old days as well. I think he joined the fandom early, not sure, but it's an, definitely an early name. Um, I remember back in season one. Um, oh wow, that long? He, yeah, the Ed the Gala song, he, he mixed that up and it was a pretty good one. Ah, alright, alright. Got, got a lot of views. So, try that. I'm looking here on your YouTube page and I see a link here for your Divin art. And by clicking on it I see that you also do art. Yeah. I see here that you do the traditional art. So how is that? Enjoying it? Yep, I really enjoy it. I recently learning how to draw, really. <laughs> hmm. And well, just trust me, I got no idea how to draw with pencil and paper anymore, so you're doing much better than I am. So that's good. Also I see here that you have a tri dashi puppet rig. That's cool. It's actually we call it a rainbow dash. Yeah, that that's easy to uh, to make the puppet. Ah. <laughs> but still, I see the QT mark and all. So you did a bit of work on it, and especially with the whole thing recoloring and stuff. Not bad. <laughs> uh, he he's done animation before. There's one on his YouTube channel, Twilight being late for exam. That's what happened uh, to me three oh, years ago. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I I'm doing doing animation too, a little bit. <laughs> ah, so. Will we see any more animations from you in the future? Yeah. Ah, nice. Can't wait, can't wait. It's going to be fun. Uh, besides the drawings and uh, PMVs, what else do you do or enjoy doing? Currently, I'm enjoying doing traditional art. I may be back doing videos, but I'm currently enjoying making art. Enjoying the traditional art can be relaxing, yes. One of the creative outlets. Um, how about uh, music? Do you play the piano? I don't have piano. <laughs> I don't think no one has uh, the space for a piano, Doc. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but here in the profile page, it says that you hope to one day become a pianist. Uh, and to become yeah. a pianist, I'm pretty sure you need a piano. <laughs> no, not. You, all you need is the keyboard. <laughs> okay, fine. Electronic ones. <laughs> do, <laughs> do you have, um, how do you say, an uh, electronic keyboard or some sort of um, musical instrument? I have an electronic keyboard, but it's okay. now broken. Oh, alright. That sucks. At least, do you know how to play the piano? Like, just any normal song? Because I got no idea how to do it at all. Yeah. Ah, that's good. Dan, a man after your own heart. Ah, I mean, I read that on your blog that you dream to become a pianist one day. Yeah. Did you learn piano formally, or did you pick it up by yourself? By myself. Ooh, that, that, that's something really, really great because mm. it means that you're really passionate about it and you really love it. Mine, I got yelled at by my mom. <laughs> what? To play the piano or what? Yes. Okay. Uh, the piano's fun. Have you tried the piano? <laughs> nah, man. I want to play the guitar. <laughs> Rarity <Really> instrument. <laughs> I don't know. Uh. But why the piano? Why of all the instruments out there, like the violin and the viola and the flute and cello and uh, what have you, why the piano? Do you know Tom and Jerry? Oh yeah, oh yeah. yeah. Yes. Everybody. Episode, episode the cat concerto. It it comes ah. like 
Like, oh, that's super that, sick. Yeah, that, yeah. yeah, that was. You remember that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, that was yeah, a really good one. I remember that. Because of that, I I started to love piano. Huh. Ah. Okay, honestly speaking here, I would never thought Tom and Jerry would be an outlet for creativity in terms uh. of, I want to play the piano. No, in terms of music in general, oh, yeah. you know. <laughs> it's a violent TV show. <laughs> <laughs> Cartoons influencing our decisions and our interests in life. No, he's not, you, know, you see, it's influencing him to play the piano, not to go and beat the crap out of the mouse in the back of the house. <laughs> hey, cartoon influencing your life decisions? That's how I'm going to go by my Pokemon decision for Sun and Moon. <laughs> They're both cartoons, so yeah, what's your point? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Alright, uh, since all this talk about classical music and pianos and stuff, I would like to know, uh, try to actually, do you have any, uh, uh, any love for Octavia, the classical pony? Oh, Octavia and Final Scratch. Yes, mm. that's right. Actually, I'm not a big fan of them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, someone's getting what really mad. What the rainbow dash? Because yeah. my music test, piano, it's only piano. What kind of songs on the piano? Like, is it, the piano is a beautiful instrument. It's so versatile. It can play so many things. So what kind of songs do you like playing? Popular songs you know, like Caramel Dancing. <laughs> I'm guessing you learn Caramel Dancing just by listening to it. You don't read the music score, do you? Read the music score. Oh, you read music score. Okay. Have you tried playing by just listening to it? Can you do that? Because that is a really great skill to adopt if you can, uh, you know, get around it. It's, it's something that can help you out a lot. I'm still developing on that scale. That's really, that's fantastic. If you can develop that skill, it's really indispensable. It will help you a lot. You know, after the show, I want to try Drink Karma Dancing by year. I've never seen the score. <laughs> <laughs> so, try that. Um, season 5, there's episode, everything 24, the main attraction. What do you think of the song, um, The Magic Inside? Good, very good. So yeah, that, that has a lot of music, uh, piano musical scores and I like that yeah. song. It, yeah, yeah, I love it. I love it. <laughs> yeah. Have you actually remixed it? No. Nope. Not yet. Okay. Not yet. Uh, Not yet. yet. Right. Season 5, right? Uh, Slow and steady. Slow and steady. As for the fandom, there's just like the, the first two piano songs that come to mind are Nightmare Night and mm. the other one being Tubby Wubby White. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, that, that was a piano. <laughs> yep. Tridashi, I want to ask you about Tridashi, the OC. Mm. <laughs> okay, uh, what's the idea behind her cutie mark? It's treble clap because of musical. <laughs> That's a good reason. Treble clap is actually a really nice cutie mark to have. I don't have backstory for uh, this. It's just... so, so... <laughs> not yet. <laughs> so still... Not yet, yes. Yeah, not it's... yet, not yet. So it's just something you came out randomly and say, oh, I thought this looks cool and uh, I'm just going to put that on. Is, is that how it works? Yep. Oh. It... Looks nice and become my OC. <laughs> <laughs> not bad, not bad. Okay. Isn't that every pony's pony OC? I like this color, I like this main style, and slap a cutie mark on it and done. Norman, you forgot how my OC looks like, is it? <laughs> you had a lot of development <laughs> on that one, my friend. Exactly. <laughs> uh, but I, I think that's most of our pony OCs or how we do it. Just on a side note, recently I got back from Thai PonyCon. Mm-hmm. And I was performing there, and uh, Parn told me that, no, we can't have a female OC for you because people will get confused as to who you are and whether that's the correct uh-huh. OC or not. <laughs> so he made me make a new one. Oh. <laughs> All right. And uh, the thing is that you, you say you have a treble clap cutie mark, now so do I. <laughs> yeah, you guys but, are the same. Octavia has different. two, one, right? Yeah, it's, but the thing is my treble clap is a bit a little different uh. than the number eight, because that's the part I sing in a choir. All right. Kind of. I, I got no idea about musicals, so I'm just going to say, uh-huh. Yeah, it's good that you say, uh-huh. That's, how, that's, what, that's what you're supposed to say. Like, <laughs> I don't know what else to say either. Yeah, I got no idea. Okay. I, I got no idea about musical, but still, uh, I want to see this new OC you have. It's in the chat, go. Oh, God. <laughs> so this, oh, wow. Not bad, you. I didn't draw it, so yeah. No, <laughs> don't congratulate me. It's a better shade of pink than the previous one. Nah, uh, I like the previous one better. What? Oh, darn. It, it's a much lighter <laughs> color. This one... It's a bit too strong for my taste. Yeah, it looks like blood, actually. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I have something else to ask uh, regarding fan art for Tridashi Pony. How often do you get fan art of, of Tridashi? It's too often, actually. 
Uh, where does it? Where do people submit uh, their their fan art of Tridashi? They just me send to my Twitter or Depian okay. Art. Yeah. All right. All right. Nice. Yeah, and I do see that you fave most of them, and not bad. I do like the art that the your fans give you, and they they are good. They are good. He made a pretty good choice of a cute OC actually. It's <laughs> it's a good recolor of RD. She's always smiling. Ah, thank you. <laughs> so, yeah, why not? And talking about character designs and recolors and whatnot, um, Discord, he's a character. He has a good design. Look at his eagle claw and lion's paw and goat hoof and dragon. Oh, who am I kidding? Discord is just crazy. And he's got this bat wing and this pegasus wing as well. Yeah, and well, if you do enjoy the Discord, uh, apparently he is going to be um a figure. Um, Hasbro has decided to make a figure of him in conjunction with Guardians of Harmony and I like this figure. It's wow. This one does look really appealing. It does have that Funko feel to it. Look at the box. But it's not Funko. Funko. But but it's not. But it's not Funko. Yeah, but it's not Funko. It's it's an official Hasbro thing. Mm -hmm. And this is with the same thing as the Luna and Celestial one that came out before. Sorry, not ah, Luna, yes. but Nightmare Moon. Nightmare Moon, right. Yeah. Yeah. Those looks, those, I have those a feeling it's cool. outsourced because, uh, you know, they want this kind of quality. So I believe they would have gotten Funko to do it. Mm, probably, but knowing the fandom and knowing Hasbro, they could have hired any 3D sculptor artist or any one of them to do That's it. That's very true. So probably, I don't know. Uh, I don't think it's Funko because if it is, Funko wants to slap their label on it. But still, this is one cool looking toy and I want to get this one because the chances of it coming to a store near us is possible. Because remember those My Little Pony Equestria Girl Minis? They're out there. Oh yeah. So, wow. Uh, I want one soon if I can find it. We're all after it, aren't we? Indeedy. Oh, by the way, Tridash, uh, do you see any toys in your local mall? Actually, I... I don't like Equestria Girl. Oh, <laughs> why? It it's my opinion. It it, it feels weird. Ah, <laughs> all right, all right. I think it's weird too. <laughs> all right, I mean, people have different tastes, so I'm not gonna. Am right. <laughs> hey, I'm not gonna judge. Sunset wife for life, yo. I think so. Not that. She's from Equestria Girl. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's the news for this week. So, um, guys, do you have anything more for Tridashi? Tridashi, I would like to ask what is your opinion on auto-tune a song? What do you think of auto-tune songs? Do they sound nice? Or do you like them? Yeah, I like it. Uh, take your time, man. If you can answer or you don't have an answer, or if you, <laughs> okay, if you know an answer and can't uh, say it, you can just type it and we can help you. So, well, talking about auto-tunes, right, I, I have one, and funny enough, it's from the show, My Little Pony, and that's, uh, what you might call this, The Spectacle. Yeah, that that song is auto tune. Yeah. The first part of, uh, yeah, it is The Spectacle. Yeah, and I like that one because of how they use it. Um, I heard people kind of complain that, oh, no, the autotune song, not too good, blah, 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 autotune yeah. sucks. But because from what I know of autotune, mm-hmm. it's... A- well, this is just from what I see of people. People think it's overused and therefore they don't like anything that has got to do with autotune. But then again, opinions are everywhere on the internet. So I was wondering, hmm, how is the autotune accepted in our PMV community? Like, uh, do people look down on it? Or do people say, oh, that's fine, we're just going to use this? I, I don't tool. know, I mean, it's, it's a tool. Uh, a tool is a tool, you know. Like yeah, I, that's what I was thinking. No, in, in the so PMV why the heck? industry, it's very it's not it's not hated in the PMV. P- Auto tune is hated as a whole in the industry of music. Yeah, because... that's right. So I, I'm really curious, like, why is this the case? And I'm okay, to find out. Yeah, hmm. I, the, the, I have an answer for that. If go um, ahead, man, go ahead. Okay. Because okay, in a deal of auto tune in the industry is that there are things that you can use as a tool that you shouldn't hmm. be using as a crutch. Mm-hmm. Ah, so you okay. see, if you if you can sing, auto tune is meant to be a touch up. It's like makeup, you know. You touch up little bits here and there, but if you cover your face in twenty thirty <laughs> layers of makeup, that's like using auto tune to 
give you talent that you're not born. Ah, with. and you then that's have. why people are yeah. having yeah. a problem. That's the most... So there are a lot of artists out there who overuse this auto tune. Yes. That's right. Yeah. That's Software right. do your work for you, you know. So you don't. You're not working hard. You're making your computer work hard yeah. for yeah. you. Yeah. So if you're popular just because of auto tune songs, then that that's that's bad popularity. Yeah. But <laughs> oh, I got it. I got it. Uh, I mean, it depends. Like some artists, like T Pain, and these people, they use auto tune. To create a special effect of their funny, funny voice, <laughs> yeah, which is which is you know it's creative use of it. But if you're so heavily dependent that you if you don't have auto tune, you refuse to perform or refuse to do something because you just need it. People mm. that that is where the hate is because you're you're trying to you're stealing the limelight from musicians who put in time and effort and practice, and you're just going jumping in there and just you know. Doing a crap job and let, making the computer fix it for you. Yeah, yeah, not it shouldn't. Sure. It shouldn't be here to, to fix it. It should be there just to touch up. Mm-hmm. And well, the main traction is a good example because uh, the spectacle was a song where it was full of glitz and glam, razzle dazzle, and it was yeah. full of light shows, and the voice was auto tuned to heck. It's it's meant to, if I'm not mistaken, it was meant to look overdone. Yes, and it yep. was meant to be a parody of well, maybe Gaga. Yeah. but at the same time too, near the end when they sang the magic inside, ah. we get to see her true voice. We get to see her real talent, and it was much better. That's right. It's one of those things where. Um, Art imitates real life. So that is kind of cool. I mean, yeah. then again, it's like Photoshop in, in a sense that anyone who's used flex pitch, Melodyne or Autotune will know that it's very delicate. Your voice is not something you can play too much with. The moment mm-hmm. you start overusing it, the signs start to show very obviously. So mm-hmm. when you use it slightly, yeah, people may not notice it. But if you start to overuse it, the signs start to show. And, you know... It's like it's like you know you're trying to cover up for a lie. You you use <laughs> another lie. So in a sense, you know, covering it up, you you will not just see the problem. You'll see where it's been covered up if it's not done correctly. Mm. You'll need like some really high end audio engineer. And even then, some of these people come out and say, "Sorry, I can't help you. You're just hopeless." <laughs> uh... And it's not to say hopeless. It's just that most people who are at that level are just attention seeking and like, "Oh, I can I can sing. I can do this." And no, you can't. You're just paying the sound engineer to. Make you a star. You. Yeah, yeah. I get it. I get it. That's a good one. Mm-hmm. Oh, but still, but still. Um, a song is a song. If it's hot, it's hot. If it's not, well, nah. Case in point, Friday by Rebecca Black. Oh. Uh, hey, yeah. You, uh, <laughs> no, that's a case in point. <laughs> and he checked out the Dick Pro Fools one. Oh, I don't remember. But from uh, what I understand, she is kind of a popular blogger now, was it? Friday Girl? Yeah. Oh, okay. Is it where that, I love, I love that, that song? Yeah, the song is nice. I say yeah, the song is nice. It's, it's very actually, catchy. It's the nice. The singer is horrible. <laughs> the singer is crap. I'm not gonna say anything bad. I mean, the person. The, 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 okay, I'm gonna move on. I, I don't want to jump in the ship. <laughs> there are a lot of lovely songs. Yeah. So I just perform like crap. <laughs> uh, but anyway, <clears throat> any more questions for Tridash? Okay, Tridash. When it comes to music, um, how do you say? Are you hoping to one day be able to write music as well and make your own music, compose your own songs? Actually, yes. Uh, I currently have passion to make my own composition, but right now I'm doing art. <laughs> mm. Okay. I mean, well, I if you're interested, you know, it's it's something that you should always pursue because the Brony community <coughs> has a lot of musicians that are willing to help out. Because you see, like sometimes you're you can be a fantastic pianist, but if you're, you, you know, you don't see you you can't. You, you feel that you have trouble writing songs, you can actually reach out to some other bronies and see, you know, hey, I can play the piano for you kind of thing. Mm-hmm, true that, true that. Regarding PMV making, uh, do you have any advice for new people who want to make their own PMVs? Just do what you want. Yeah, okay. that's it. <laughs> Just do what you like, yeah? Yeah, because by doing what you like, you can improve it by... We get it. You're saying that um, you like if if you do what you like, you have the motivation to continue doing. Mm-hmm. So yeah, it does, that's, it that's does, it. Yeah. It doesn't feel like you know like work or it doesn't feel boring. So well, if that's the case, it. you two are going to love this week's episode. Mm. <laughs> mm. Uh, okay, but yeah, that's a good advice. Uh, do what you enjoy, and you'll get better within time. Because well. By doing what you like, you have an interest in it. And by having an interest, you'll improve slowly. Even if you're not the greatest, you'll still enjoy what you're doing. Yeah, that's right. 
Mm-hmm. What you must because you can. Yes. It's <laughs> portal. Yes, I know. <laughs> Oh, uh, you guys are going to enjoy this week's episode. Mm. Anyway, uh, if there's no more questions for Tridash, I think we can end it here. Yep, all good. All covered. Seems fine so far. All righty then. Anyway, Tridash, thank you for coming on. It's been great having you here, man. You're welcome. And sorry for my bad, my bad English. No, man. <laughs> you, were, you were great, man. You were great. No, man. Like, uh, you were good. You were good. I think we had a lot of problem with our English. <laughs> I was fumbling around. I still do. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I still have problems about which, which, you, you know, that one, which and which, like, I still have problems with that. What? Is it the witch as in the witch riding the broom, that kind of bitch? Yeah, I have problems uh, spe- okay. the spelling, you know. If it's got, if it's got a letter T in it, yeah. then it, then it's it got magic involved, lah. <laughs> <laughs> say, seriously, if you got the letter T in it, the magic is there. <laughs> Yeah, okay. I, I don't know how that makes sense. No, I mean like, okay, which one is which? Like W I T C H is the witch, the one that makes potions and write broom one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. W H I C H is not the witch lah. That one is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but what's that? But... Got T means got magic. No T, no magic lah. Finish. Simple rule. Yeah, but when you, I have Why problem. I have problem. Anyway, uh, this week we have emails. Yay! Oh yeah, cool email. Dan, you want to read this one, man? Yeah, sure. You know, I think because right, I got of the new episode, we actually have an increase of people ordering McFlurries. What? Really? Oh god. Really? 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 Hey, the new EQG, sh- the new EQG toys are already in McDonald's, by the way. Not yeah, gonna no. buy them. I know. I've already got the Applejack. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Every week you can get one. Yeah. Uh, no, I, mean, I I seen it and uh, I will try to show on this one. I don't, I don't enjoy it. Mhm. Mhm. So. Dear Norman and the whole crew at the MBS show, wow, she's addressing all of us. I hope you had a great two weeks and that Rolicious and Norman are all better. It sure has been busy around here. First of all, I wanted to brief you a bit on what has been going on in Canada. Hmm, you guys got a Canadian correspondent now, wow. Yay. About a month ago, we all thought we were finally in spring because the temperature reached 14 degrees Celsius. The snow melted off and the kids were out in shorts and t-shirts. But then, just in time for our much-awaited Season 6 premiere of MLP, we were back in winter with all the worst of it. Well, for the record, we're boiling to death here in Kuala Lumpur. Good Friday came along and we had no electricity part of the night and all day. Wow. The worst snowstorm mixed with freezing rain and pretty much just looked like what Baby Flurry Heart had caused on the show. Coincidence much? (laughs) I think not. (laughs) I could not believe just how in sync we were with the first episode of the season. Oh, yeah. Here are some pictures to give you an idea. Yeah, there's some pictures attached. Good lord, wow. This it's is... icy, man. Very icy. Yeah, icy is, from what I know, if you see ice, it's worse than snow. Yeah. It means the temperature's real cold. Back to the email. We had been preparing for weeks and now disaster is upon us. Oh dear. Thankfully, the electricity came back just in time. CRC Brony was definitely nervous and anxious to have power in time for the grand premiere he had been anticipating for months and suggested we should honor the new baby, go out and get everyone a McFlurry to sip on while we watch the show. Chia, your theory has been confirmed. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Flurry. Okay. It was good. It was gonna be CRC's Brony's eight-year-old baby sister's first ever McFlurry. Congratulations! As the adventure and the suspense did not disappoint, we get to the famous restaurant and what? No ice cream. The restaurant was running their power on generators because the town didn't have their power back. Donald's no electricity. Good lord. Mm-hmm. So what's a mom to do then? So there goes Cheerily Ann pulling out the mixer and a tub of ice cream, added a touch of Easter chocolate to the mixture, and voila, a flurry heart just in time for the countdown of season 6. New recipe. Mm. We had a great time and wanted to share with you all. As a mom, baby flurry heart did everything I expected her to do. She's so cute and I simply enjoyed the little romance developing between Sunburst and Starlight Glimmer. MLP did it again and definitely a great family show for all. We hope you guys had just as much fun as us dancing to the tune made by the fans of MLP while we waited for the show and enjoyed the new episode as much as we did. Happy belated Easter to all of the MBS show from your Canadian fans. Have a great week to you all. Pony hugs for everyone. Sincerely, Cheerly Ann. That's very sweet, man. Very sweet. Yeah. Great to hear. I mean, I like how people, especially bronies, not to be real, too biased or anything, <laughs> you guys can be, you guys can find the silver lining, especially when, you know, things hit the fan. Indeed, indeed. Mm. No electricity, freezing, cold. I would have just bundled up my, in the corner. I'm like, good night. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> Um, the show can wait. Very hard can wait. Tomorrow <laughs> I shall watch it. Good night. <laughs> well, anyway, uh, thanks a lot, Shirley. It's good to know that you guys are safe and have power back again. 
And, well, I'm also glad that you enjoy the season opener. It's strange that Flurry Heart here caused the snow to come to the Crystal Empire and to Canada at the same time too, which is hmm, strangely in sync, yet creepy at the same time because, hmm... There's I... a crystal heart in Justin Trudeau's office. <laughs> going to get up. Uh, but still... That's how he won the election. Uh, but, st- <laughs> but still, but still... <clears throat> Good to know that you guys are safe, and um, I hope that CRC's little sister, uh, well, gets to try the McFlurry, because I tried it, and it's not bad. I especially love the, well, I, I don't know if we have the same you one. You want to start a war, Norman? What? Oh. <laughs> with, with the best McFlurry thing. No, I mean, because McFlurries are, well, you have the standard vanilla McFlurry, which is, um, their McDonald's ice cream it's with, a oh, vanilla McFlurry. Yeah, vani- <laughs> vanilla ice cream with uh, Oreo cookies. But mm-hmm. I, I, I think her version is much better. Just, oh. but just ice cream with chocolate. Yeah, yeah. much better. I, I like that one why more. Not? Why not? Are you guys a fan of McFlurries, by the way? I'm okay with it. I, I, yeah. I like it because it's in a cup. I, I don't really like the cone. Mm-hmm. I like um, the sundae cone. Okay. Um, try Dashi? Yep. Oh, okay. <laughs> Everybody's a fan of McFlurry. You don't? I actually haven't, I, I haven't tried it until, <laughs> I think, I only had it once, you know? Okay. For, for some odd reason, it just never appealed to me, this McFlurry stuff. I, I someone, always take the phone Someone bought Sunday. it for me, so I never bought one in my oh, life. Really? Oh, okay. Fine, yeah. fine, so wait, fine. how many, how many times have you guys I tried? Only had it once. once. You? Once. Once? Really? Hmm. No interest at all? The cone sundae is cheaper and... Um, <laughs> <laughs> hey, I hey like... Norman, I may be the fastest eater in my school, but like, I get brain freeze. Well, I mean, I, besides the whole pricing issue of an ice cream cone yeah, versus... Seven bucks, right? No, three. Oh, Alright, fine. But I mean, Don't buy it enough to know the price. No, but still, I mean, okay, personally for me, I do enjoy having a spoon and a cup. That's much better for me. But, I don't know, different tastes for different people, but I, I, I just like the spoon and cup thing. It's much better for me. It's much cleaner. Uh, well, thank you, Charlie, for the awesome email. Um, I hope to hear from you guys soon. And to CRC Brony too. Anyway, that's email for this week. Uh, thanks a lot. Anyway, if you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at mvshowgmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at the MBS show. Sweetiebot will tweet about this show, about, well, whatever else sparks your interest. And you can also reach me at Norman Sanzo. I tweet about toys, food, and whatever tickles my fancy. Currently tickling my fancy is food, I guess. I'm quite hungry right now. And then, where can they reach you, man? You can reach me on, um, good lord, I haven't said this in a long time. <laughs> <laughs> I am on Twitter. You can get to me at St. Pinky, S-T-P-I-N-K-I-E. Email me, daniel at thefriendshipexpress.org. If you like politics, you can watch my uh, daily news bulletin on Kini TV on YouTube. Mm. Oh, you're a newscaster, by the way, right? Yeah, I'm now a news anchor. Yay! Yeah. Uh, is it? Well, what else do I have, really? I can't remember what else I have, to be honest. I haven't dropped my contact details in a long time. Oh, wow. Twitters? Nothing? I mean, you can go to samepinky.deviantart.com and prepare to be disappointed. <laughs> okay, 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 then. And, Doc, what about you, man? Mm, you can contact me on Twitter. It's uh, at DRCXY. And um, I don't post much, but um, I do follow a few people. And, yeah, that's about it. All right, then. All right, then. <laughs> Uh, what about you, Tridashi? Where can the people find you? At Twitter, uh, Tridashi. Tridashi. Yeah, that's it. Mm-hmm. And also on your YouTube at, um, what was it called? YouTube, Tridashi. Uh, <laughs> Alright, so I think it's everywhere Tridashi, right? Yep. Mm-hmm. And fun fact, if you type Tridashi.com, he has his own website, so yay! <laughs> Everything is Tridashi. Indeed, indeed. And before we go, I-, I think, Dan, you have an announcement to make? Oh, yes. Well, for all of you Avid fans and all of the Malaysians tuning in, and well, everyone around Malaysia is all welcome, the Friendship Express, the Malaysian Pony Convention, is making a return for 2016. Yay! Yay! So catch us from the 19th to the 20th of November at Make Space at Cool City Mall, Jalan Sultan Ismail, Kuala Lumpur. 
We will be updating a lot more on our website, thefriendshipexpress.org. Once again, thefriendshipexpress.org. Follow us on Facebook, facebook.com slash Marilasia, M-A-R-E-L-A-Y-S-I-A. And on Twitter, because Twitter doesn't like long usernames, just spell Friendship Express without any vowels. So F-R-N-D-S-H-P-X-P-R-S. So no buying vowels then, all right. <laughs> and, and one less S because you're too, too long, man. I, so, well, okay, um, I'm hype. So... Hope to see you then, Norman. Yeah, indeed. I'm, I'm going to be there, man. I'm going to be there. Oh, fantastic. Oh, by the way, um, last year you had Vincent Tong. Any surprise who we can get this year? Oh, well, you'll, you'll be one of the first to know. Oh, schnapps. Mm, you have to follow our announcements. I think we should update the website <laughs> and um, probably the Twitters and the YouTube. Facebook, then yeah. Yeah, and the Facebook, right. All righty then, all right. So I have to keep a close eye to everything. All right, no problem then. So... I will let you know as well, don't worry. Yeah, all right, cool. So, is there any chance for a certain podcast host to be on stage again? <laughs> well, why not? Just, well, we'll let you know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I am shameless. We got our first part. We got our first panel application. Yay! On air! Wow! I am shameless. Yeah. Uh, anyway, if... <laughs> Uh, also, please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube, and Stitcher Radio, and also like our Facebook page. Yes, we have the Facebooks. You can also catch us on PonyRealife.com. Links are going to be in the show notes. So, I have been Norman Sanzo. I'm Daniel Anthony. I've been Charlie. I'm Karadashi. And we will catch you guys next week for another amazing episode of the MBS show. We'll catch you, <laughs> we'll catch you guys later. See ya. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.